take home science kit. Uh, today's going to be a really good one, but before we get to the kit, let's talk a little bit about what's going on at the Hands On Science Center. So, we are open for general admission uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday from 10 to 5, and Sunday from 1 to 5. Uh, we look forward to seeing y'all out here. Uh, it's going to be a good time at any time you come, so come out and see us. Uh, on August 28th, we are having a big old party, a big birthday bash for the Hands On Science Center. We are turning 26 years old. Our uh, facility here has been here for 26 years. Now, there are some things in the uh, museum that have been new or have been around that long, but we try to update them uh, as we go. So come out and see some of the new exhibits we have and we'll have a good time. So let's get on to our take home science kits. Now, these wouldn't be possible without the support of Arnold Engineering Development Complex. So thank you to them. Uh, so the Air Force STEM program they have going on is helping us fund these and helping us put on these videos and all of our live performances that we do, whether it's a Facebook Live, Take Home Science Kits, programs inside the building. Uh, so we do want to thank those uh, involved in that. So our topic today is water, and more specifically, water filtration. So we are going to be doing our water filtration kit. We have a upgraded box. If y'all were able to get your hands on one of the solar bugs, I know y'all had a lot of fun with those, but we are starting to package them in boxes, so maybe in the future we could start shipping them out uh, for a small donation. So that is an upgrade, and that's also made possible by y'all. If y'all are donating to help us with these kits, or if you're reserving a kit, it helps us upgrade these kits. It helps us get better quality materials and get some out to y'all as quick as possible. So let's get started. So like I said, we're doing water filtration, and let's find out what's in the box. Well, we got smart water. Let's see, we got charcoal. We got rocks, a cup, some fabric, some sand, and it looks like some dirt and beads and glitter. So we got all these materials, but what are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to be doing some water filtration. So if you all will, go ahead and open up your books. And the first page you're going to see, there is a pre-test on it. So go ahead and try to fill that out. Do the best you can. And if you don't know the answer, that's perfectly fine. Just put, I don't know, or just make a prediction based on what you know already. So we're going to go through and kind of learn a little bit. So in today's experiment, like I said, we're going to be talking about water. And what do you think we use water for? Well. We drink it, we wash our clothes in it, we brush our teeth, we wash our hands, we take showers and baths. We use water for a lot of different things. And we don't just get water out of a muddy water hole or a pond or anything like that. It goes through a certain process in order for us to be safe when we're drinking it or eating, uh, eating with it or washing our hands or there wouldn't be any point in washing our hands with dirty water, right? So, a little bit about water on Earth. So, how much water is on Earth? That's one of the pre-questions, and in our book we get, a li uh, get into it a little bit, and it says 70% of the Earth's surface is made up of water. 70%! Now, that's not all fresh water, that's salt water and fresh water combined, but there is 3% of the Earth's surface is of water, fresh water. But it's not all able to drink like this. It's in different forms like glaciers, icebergs, stuff like that. So it's locked away where we can't get to it. Really, there's only 0.5% of fresh water available to us humans in lakes, streams, and rivers, and ponds, and lakes. Uh, so there's not that much water for us to get our hands on here. And we can't really use all of that because that's not all 
clean fresh water. So we have to do a little bit to get the clean water. But we're not doing such a great job of keeping that water clean. So have you all ever heard of pollution before? Yeah, I've heard of pollution too. It's not a good thing. We try to, uh, we try not to pollute at all, but just almost everything you do is a pollution of some sort and you just have to reduce it as much as you can. So like driving a car, uh, throwing plastic away, not recycling, that would be pollution. So how are some of the ways we can stop polluting? Well, we can recycle, clean up around us, we can pick up trash off the side of the road and make it go to the proper area. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but what's another way we can do or keep the water clean around us? Does anybody know? How about using less water? Is that a way to keep the water clean? Yeah. So, like I said, we talked about a little bit of stuff that we use water for every day. What about flushing the toilet? So, have you ever gone through and flushed the toilet a lot? or throughout the day you flush the toilet a lot, well that's using up a lot of water, especially the ones that use one to three gallons every flush. How about taking shorter showers? That might be a way to reduce the water. Uh, how about filling up a bathtub just a little bit less? That would be a way to conserve some of this water that we're using and I think it would make everyone's life a little bit easier so we don't run out of that clean water that we're using. So, how do we get the water? Now, like I said, we don't go out to streams and ponds and lakes and pick up the water and go drink it. There's bacteria in that water from animals, from decaying plants, and so we don't want to just drink it straight out of the water, or straight out of the ponds. So, it has to go through a water treatment facility. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I think these water treatment facilities are really cool. So they have a lot of different processes that they go through in order to make this water good for us to drink and use for bathing and showering and washing and drinking. Uh, a couple ways they do that is filtration. So that's kind of what we're doing today. We're going to be doing a, a, simple, a simple solution to filtration, but they go through a long process of straining and chemically treating and then putting it back into our rivers and streams so it'll clean itself naturally a little bit better and then we'll take it out of the streams and rivers and clean it again for us to drink. So the materials we're using today, let's go through. We have a water bottle. We have some coarse rock. We have activated charcoal. Man, that's so dirty. I don't know how that's going to clean water. We have sand. I hate when I get wet and sandy. It's just not cool. Uh, let's see. We got some filter fabric. We got our cup. We got a container with some dirt and glitter and beads in it. And that's about it. So, let's move our boxes to the side so we don't get them wet. And I would recommend, especially those of you indoors, I recommend you go outdoors or in a bathtub or in a big sink uh, so you don't get wet uh, or you don't get a, make a mess because this kit can be pretty messy. So, we got this bottle of water. It's clean water and we want to try to get the water this clean, okay? But we're doing an experiment and we do not drink or eat our uh, experiments here at the Hands-On Science Center. So I'm going to empty out some of this bottle and there's a little tab, if you cannot tell, right here. You got to pull off the tab before you can open the bottle. That way you know it's sealed or been sealed before. So we're going to pour out some of this water and I don't have a sink right next to me so I'm using this container right here. Now don't pour out all of it. We're going to pour out probably a little more than half. That's a little more than half. 
We're going to take our container with all the dirt in it, and we're going to make dirty water. Okay, so I got a little bit of water in here. Let's go ahead and pour it in here. Now don't fill it up too much. We want to be able to shake this up here in a second. So if you have your lemon water, go ahead and pour it out. And we're going to shake this up. Make ourselves some dirty water. And this is why you want to go outside because sometimes this lid doesn't seal great and water will go everywhere. So let's shake it up the best we can. Oh. Make it nice and mixed up. Alright. Now, let's just keep that over here, let it settle a little bit, and we're going to move on to our next step, which you will need a parent's help for this one. So, what I like to do, and for this step, we are going to be cutting the bottle open. Okay, we're going to be cutting off this back end of the bottle. And you'll need a parent's help because this is hard to do. Uh, you can use a scissor, a pair of scissors, or an exacto knife, but make sure you have your parent's help. And once you get a little indention, just then you can cut around really easy. And you want to just cut off about an inch, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, so you have room to put all your supplies in. Let's see. Okay, I cut off about an inch. Now, now we want to load up our water filter. So, let's see, we got our fabric first. We're going to push that all the way in, as low as you can, to the bottom. And you can use a tool to get it down further. You want to get as flat as you can in there so the next step doesn't fall through. Uh, we got that pretty good. So it's down at the bottom, right there. Next, we got our sand. And this is kind of difficult, so we got our cup to use to hold it for us. Let's see. Alright, we got our sand in there. Let's make sure it's nice and even not too spread out. Let's see. There we go. Now, we got our charcoal. We want to pour our charcoal in. Man, I don't know how this stuff is going to clean the water. It's so dirty. Try to get all the pieces in there. Let's see. It's looking pretty good right now. And then we got some rocks to put in there. see that? we got three or four different layers that we can see. we got our rocks up top, we got our charcoal, our sand, and then our fabric right at the bottom. So, what we want to do is we got our dirty water. We're going to open up the container. Do not spill it because you need all the water you can get so you can filter it better. Alright? And all we got to do is pour this straight into the bottle. Alright? And if you have a little dirt left over, you can always add more water to this. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. Alright, we got a little more water. Let's mix that up a little bit more. So, what we're going to do, and this is why you want to be next to a sink, or use the cup, we're going to open up the bottom and it's going to start releasing water. And you notice how it's still a little dirty, right? But it's a lot cleaner than what was in that cup, right? 
So, once this goes through, which it likes to take its time sometimes, oh, you can see it's starting to get clear. Let's go ahead and close off our lid and pour the water back in. Oh, all I see is small particles in there. Okay. And we're going to open it up again. Oh, it's getting a lot clearer. Dang, that's really clear. Now, when you're pouring the water in, make sure you don't pour it too fast because then all the rocks and charcoal will start floating up real quick. So you want to do it real slow. Let's try it one more time to get a real clear coat. So I'm going to pour it in slower this time. Alright? See what happens. And it's coming out super clear now. Now, this is why it's very important to have the three separate layers. So, oh, I think I see why I'm getting a little dirtier water. It's because one of my layers didn't make it all the way through. So, that's why we want to try to keep our layers separate. So, I can see a clear layer of sand right there, but I can't really see the charcoal. My charcoal and rocks mixed up. So we want to make sure that our layers get separated, not uh, combined like that. But it still looks like I'm getting decently clear water. There's a few particles in there. And this is why we do not want to drink or eat uh, any of our experiments because this water may have some fertilizer in it, may have some glitter left over, may have some beads coming through. And we don't want to keep, we don't want to drink dirty water. So after you've completed this, you can continue to use this filter and maybe make some improvements on it. Maybe you have another filter fabric at home, or you have more sand, or you have more charcoal or rocks. You can make this again with bigger portions and see if it cleans it any more than what we did with this one. So that's why I like how we cut this off, because you can just cap this thing off with squeezing in the, the bottle. Let's see. Alright, I'm getting it. Alright, so we got it capped off so where the stuff won't come out anymore. So, now I wouldn't recommend tipping it over, but it'll keep things from coming out or spilling out on accident. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this kit. It was really fun to make. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, like I said, do not drink the water. As you can see, my water's a little murky. I don't know if y'all can see that. But my water's still a little murky because the it didn't settle that well and I poured it in a little too fast. But guys, uh, we have one more thing to do. We have our post test to do. So. Let's note that the dirty water kind of stays up top. So all this stuff we put in, it most of it stayed up top. Now there was a little bit of small particles that we couldn't get out because our filter wasn't good enough or it was just too fine of particles that got through or passed through. And let's do the post test and figure out what we learned from this book and what we learned from this kit. And we'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, now that y'all finished your post test, I had a lot of fun doing this kit. We're really excited that we get to put these on for y'all, give them out for free uh, every other week. And I'm enjoying making them, putting the kits together. We do want to have a huge shout out to Coca-Cola for sponsoring this uh, by giving us smart water bottles to give out to y'all for free. And it was really appreciate. It was really nice of them to do that for us, as well as Air Force Gym. We couldn't do this without them. We really appreciate them. And guys, I hope to see you on the next video. Don't forget, we are open for general admission Friday and Saturday from 10 to 5, and Sunday from 
one to five. Uh, we are not requiring masks at this time. Uh, that may change. And we are having a birthday bash coming up on August 28th. Hope to see you all out there. It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of free events, uh, some paid activities like face painting and food. Uh, just come out and see us. We're going to have a, a good time. And, all right, guys, I hope you had fun with this kit. We'll see you on the next time.